Hi, my name is Tony Picard, I'm the VP of Sales at Vidiantis and welcome to CS uh, in Las Vegas, January 2019. Uh, Vidiantis is an IP provider, so intellectual property, and uh, we license our proprietary processor design to companies making semiconductor chips or a system company running their own ASIC programs. And uh, what is this IP doing? We do visual processing. We excel in power efficiency when you have deep learning, uh, vision processing, or video encode and decode. And these designs get into in a multitude of applications, including the ones that are at display here in the automotive sector. One of the unique benefits of our IP is not just the power efficiency, but also the scalability. You can license just a few processor cores for extremely small and power efficient applications. Just imagine Internet of Things always on devices up to licensing more cores to have extremely performant systems. Uh, think of a self-driving car. We scale across that landscape uh, from very small footprint to extremely high performance. Another aspect that is very unique to RIP, uh, considering alternatives on the market, is the fact that we can run all of these algorithms on one unified processor IP, which we kept stable throughout the company's history. We've been in business for more than 15 years and in automotive production since 2012. Let's have a look at the, the demonstrations here at display. One of them is uh, done by a partner company of ours called Ficosa, which is part of Panasonic Group. You see a demonstration here of their smart camera for rear view and surround view applications. What are the types of processing that we do on the Vidiantis IP inside these chips, uh, in these cameras? Well, first of all, uh, there's an image coming in uh, it gets through the ISP, the image signal processor. And what we then do is finding dirty spots or blind spots on the camera and automatically calibrate the camera towards the ground, towards the surface. Further on, we can do uh, pedestrian detection, we can uh, detect crossing traffic, and then enable an automated emergency brake system. Uh, another aspect of processing on RIP is then the video encoding at the edge or the decoding of the similar images when you integrate chips in an ECU in a central system in the car, where all these images can then be stitched together and provide a surround view application. Um, let's have a look at other uh, demonstrations here. We also showcase our uh, newest generation, they're called the 6000, which is in addition to vision and video processing, enabled for high throughput uh, CNN processing applied in artificial intelligence in deep learning applications. Thank you for being with us at CES. Look forward to meeting you soon.